Hey guys, WiseGamer here, bringing you another indie game review. This time we're looking at Shmato, a game that came out in May of last year. It's kind of a unique indie game where it's a twin stick shooter, side scroller type game, and it's only about two bucks on Steam. I'll have all the links down below if you want to check it out. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the review. So Shmato, like I said, is a twin stick shooter. What that means is the left stick on your controller uh, moves your character around, or in this case, your, your orb of light, and the right stick aims. So you're constantly shooting and you're just kind of aiming to destroy the, the dark circles, which are shadows that'll actually hurt you, dim your light until you're no longer there, basically, and you get destroyed. And then there's also um, like enemies that come up. They're usually in red, sometimes in yellow or purple, stuff like that too. And they all have kind of special abilities. So when you start the match, basically you're just trying to go as long as possible. It's like a typical kind of throwback to the old arcades that are side-scrolling twin six shooters like this as well. It's just kind of an endless run and it gets more difficult and difficult as the time goes on. Uh, where you know the bosses have different abilities or multiple bosses show up on screen and a lot more of those black shadow things that you have to dodge. So basically you're trying to dodge those while shoot the boss and destroy them too. And it's a little bit difficult, uh, but it's really not too bad. It's kind of a fun thing and for two bucks I think it's still worth it. So basically as you play through, um, you kind of start off and you can kind of pick a special ability that you have. So they give you a lot of different options that you'll see at the very main menu there basically. And you hit start, you go through, and that main ability is controlled by the charge bar that's on the top left that slowly goes up over time. And then every time you defeat a boss, you actually get to pick up their ability as an extra item that you can use one time, basically. And you can use that to help you defeat the next boss, and then, you know, again, you pick up their item, and you continue, so on and so forth, as far as you can, getting the highest score possible. Uh, really, the gameplay's pretty um, generic, I guess, in the sense of just what the game type is and what the theme is and everything. Um, but the idea of just kind of like you're the light within all this darkness and really the way the, the game visually plays out is really nice as well. So again, you're this glowing orb. You can kind of see like as you shoot, you're shooting these white glowing particles out and um, it kind of like lights up the whole screen and then it fades away as you stop shooting in that direction. And I thought that was a really nice feel. I'd love to see the game do this with something else, um, not just particles maybe, like just a, a white circle and black blobs, but maybe something else with like really lighting up darkness. I think there's a really nice motif that was kind of missed there. Uh, but if you really look into it, you read the description about the game and stuff like that, then you can kind of understand where it's coming from. Because it was inspired by shmups um, and shadows, basically. So it's kind of a unique element where, like, the darkness, uh, you know, literally dims out your light until it's no longer there, and it takes one of your lives, which you have your lives at the top center of the screen there with those little white dots. So basically, like I said, visually, it's not bad. Um, it had a lot of inspiration from shmups and shadows, but really, like, the feel of it, just kind of like this darkness taking over is nice, but it gets a little bit weird with kind of a strobing effect as you shoot as well. Audio-wise, the game's not too bad. Um, I think that the genre and the music and kind of the theme of it and everything is isn't too bad. Uh, the sound effects are okay and everything too. Nothing crazy, but again, the game's two bucks, and I think for this, I could see myself buying it on like Xbox Live Arcade when that was more popular, uh, or just playing it in an arcade for that matter too. I think for what they're going for, it does well for that type of game. Replayability-wise, like I said, there are quite a few unique abilities that you can start with, so as you go through, you can actually play these different types like that over and over again to try out the different abilities. Uh, there's also like a really insane hardcore mode where you're just basically constantly getting bosses without any break in between, and that's kind of a really unique way to play the game too, to try to get a high score on that, with like a higher leaderboard score and stuff like that. Overall, like I said, for $2, the game's probably worth it. Um, I probably gonna pick it up and play it. It's something you can hop in and out of pretty easily, which I always value in a game since time is very valuable to me these days. But I don't know if it's something that I'd necessarily would like recommend um, all the time. It'd be something that like, like I said, for two dollars, it's one of those really hard things because two dollars is such a cheap price. I think it's fair, fairly priced for what you're getting out of it. Um, the game's a lot of fun. I don't think it needs that much work or anything like that, but it's not too unique either. So I guess it's a question of whether you enjoy these types of games or not. If you do, then two dollars will get you it. It's definitely gonna be worth it your time. Uh, for me, it wasn't unique enough for me to want to pick it up again if I was going to, you know, go through it again a second time there. I'd still recommend it though overall. That being said though guys, I do these reviews three times a week, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike as well, that's fine. Again, I do the reviews three times a week, so check out my last review as well, and hope you guys enjoy. Thanks, have a great day, bye bye.